The Cannabis Show is for information only. You should always consult with a qualified and licensed physician or other medical care provider. Welcome to The Cannabis Show. Today we'll have a closer look at the powerful Zeus Smite Vaporizer. Evan will teach us about cloning and a new growing tips, and we'll explore the strain Bonfire by Peace Naturals. All that and more, keep watching. Hello and welcome to Growing Tips. My name is Evan and today we're going to be talking about cloning. Don't worry, this isn't some mad science experiment. Cloning is taking a cutting from a mother plant, putting it into some growing medium so that it can grow its own roots and become its own plant. We call it a clone because it's going to have the same uh, genetic history as the plant it was cut from and also be the same sex. Um, you're going to need a few different things uh, to do this. Uh, some clean scissors, I sterilize with alcohol wipes, some uh, growing medium, and then optional is the uh, rooting hormone, it comes in gels and powders, um, and then most importantly is going to be a plant in the vegetative state. This is a uh, white berry, she's about two months old, and she's all ready for a haircut. So choosing a branch for the cutting is really important. You want to make sure that it has multiple nodes. So nodes are the part of the plant from which the leaves are going to grow. Um, I like to choose my cuttings from lower on the plant because uh, those branches get less light and we're more likely to take them off anyway. So I'm going to find a branch I like. There's one underneath here. We'll just take that and we're going to put it directly into some water. Um, now is a good time to take multiple cuttings, uh, just in case some of them don't take, but uh, make sure to properly label them if you have more than one strain. That's really important. Um, now that you've got all the cuttings you're looking for, we're going to simply remove our excess leaves and then cut at a 45 degree angle. And now we're ready for our uh, rooting hormone. I'm just going to clean up a little bit more. Um, best practice is to use a clean, sterile container when doing this. Um, it comes in gels and powders, like I said. Powder's really convenient. You're just going to put that in, give it a little shake. And now we're ready for our uh, growing medium pre-soaked in a mild nutrient solution. And we'll just place that in there. And that is a cutting as simple as that. The cuttings are very sensitive to humidity at this point, uh, so a dome and a, uh, something to mist them really helps with this. They don't have roots, so uh, that's the only way for them to take up water right now. Um, they're also more sensitive to temperature. Um, they like slightly warmer than room temperature, 22 to 24 degrees. Um, in about a week or two, you should uh, see roots and you should be able to uh, transplant your uh, plant into a larger pot. Using these techniques, you should be able to take uh, multiple plants from a single seed and uh, continue to keep the genetics that help you best. Thanks for listening and keep growing. You may be familiar with this scene. It's approaching three o'clock, the day's coffee is no longer working, energy from lunch is worn off and you still have a few more hours of work. Yep, the mid-afternoon buzz have found you once again, and all you want to do is nap. Well, maybe that's when you reach for the Bonfire Strain from licensed producer Peace Naturals. The Bonfire Strain is a hybrid leaning towards the sativa side, which can create alertness and make one more focused, while the less dominant indica presence can melt away pain, inflammation, and anxiety. Patients who suffer from breathing ailments or fibromyalgia may want to give this strain a try. Bonfire by Peace Naturals. Hi, I'm Chris and we have Basil here and today we are talking about uh, a vaporizer with a very powerful name, not only for the company name, but the actual vaporizer itself. It's the Zeus, which also means uh, God of the Sky. 
And the vaporizer we're talking about is a smite, which it's means to smite. strike with force. It's intense, right? It is intense. Yeah, yeah, tell us about this handy little vaporizer. It's an intense little vaporizer, and it's uh, you know it's a more affordable vaporizer. It's uh, it's got an anodized aluminum shell, so it's sturdy. It's a good it's a good little unit. Yeah, it's nice, and you can feel it. You know, it's nice and it's perfectly heavy in a way. Yeah. You know, you got it in your hand. Kind totally. Of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's not too discreet, but it's pretty good. Yeah. So uh, three preset temperatures, and the thing that's really cool about this one is the 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 lip. Oh, there's there. a light. Can yeah. It, yeah. So that, that you could use that at concerts, <laughs> yeah. but uh, also what I really like about that, you know, if you're if you or your partner need indicas, you know, they wake up at three a.m. They need another vape of uh, indica to get back to sleep. Instead of That'll turning, help you find it. Yeah, every light on in the room and waking yeah. everyone up, you can just use that to find your indica, put it back in. I like that. Yeah, totally. So a uh, silicone mouthpiece comes with it, but you can get yourself a glass mouthpiece that'll fit it, and you can hide that mouthpiece Ooh, away. A little chamber. Yeah. So three set temperatures. Yeah. yeah. Good battery life. Good battery life. And what about cleaning? Yeah, get yourself a Zeus cleaning kit. You got your uh, cotton swabs in there, so you can keep it nice and clean in there. You could use the, um, the, the wipes to keep the rest of it clean. Oh, I really like that. And we are selling them that at our education centers at Natural Health Services. I do want to read a little caption off the box. This is, this is just so powerful. And uh, I wish I could read like Samuel L. Jackson, but anyway. My smite shall end eternal strife, conflicting thoughts that burden life, unshackle mind and banish ill. The power now rests at your will. That, that Like yeah. I said, it's intense. <laughs> Zeus smite. On the panel today for You Can Ask Us Anything, we have Basil and Kate. My name is Chris. If you'd like to uh, send us a question, the Cannabis Show at naturalhealthservices.ca. Question today is from Anatoly Z. And he went on to say, I know you have to activate your cannabis if you want to get the maximum therapeutic benefits. I want to try cooking with cannabis. How do I decarboxylate my cannabis at home? Great question, Anatoly. Thank you what for writing to us. Decarboxylate mean. Decarboxylate. That's an extra syllable, I think, <laughs> there. But uh, to decarboxylate the plant means to turn it from like a THCA, for instance, to just the THC. So you're heating it to the point of activation. Uh, and I do that. I mean, everybody's a little bit different, but I, you have to be aware that you can't take the temperature above a certain amount because then you're destroying terpenes, etc. So you want to keep it. I do it about 240 for about 40 minutes in my oven, and I just make sure that I cover off the top with tin foil. Basil gave me that tip that. a long time ago, and it works really well because then anything that kind of rises in the air falls back into the plant matter, and you just let it cool oh, that way. Terpenes. Those really yummy terpenes. Yeah. Yeah, your, your LPs are using a much more scientific oven, uh, something a lot bigger, something that's not going to deviate in temperature so much like your oven will. Um, but there's some really cool little devices coming out on the market that are giving you a similar, um, a similar ability to keep it at that, that certain temperature in a much more compact unit. Okay, and what was those temperatures again? I do 240 for 40 minutes. I do 220 for an hour. There you go. Now, one other tip too, a patient actually told me with that tin foil, you want it nice and sealed. And he said, when you take it out of the oven, you let it cool down to room temperature so those terpenes can Yeah, let everything get in. back in there. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's creative right there. I, thank you very much, Anatoly. Hopefully that answers your question.